Hello everyone, I am Virendra Rajput and you are watching CAD Learning Resources YouTube channel. In this video you will learn AutoCAD basics, user interface, snap, grid, ortho, object snap, dynamic input and some of the object selection methods. Let's start. So this is user interface of AutoCAD. Here on the left upper corner application menu is here then at the top this title bar it shows version of AutoCAD and the name of current open drawing and dot dwg is the extension of drawing file below that there is a menu bar and in this menu bar you will find some of the useful toolbars such as draw modify layers annotation etc and here you can see drawing area below to the drawing area this is command line here you can type command by using keyboard and at the bottom uh, this bar is application status bar it contains some useful information and buttons which helps us in drawing so first we will see grid mode it can be activated by using F7 key on the keyboard or you can click on this and it will be deactivated. If I click on the grid mode, so you, in drawing area, reference lines are visible in the form of grid. So here this X spacing and Y spacing of this grid can also be set. So for this click here and click on snap settings. And here you find grid X spacing and Y spacing. So in this case, 10 units X spacing and 10 units Y spacing. This small box is 10 unit by 10 unit. And at every fifth, there is major line. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And there is one major line. That means this box is of 50 unit by 50 and small box is 10 by 10. You can change its spacing from here. Another mode is snap mode. It can be activated by using F9. So if I click on it and take line command, just click on the line and click in the drawing area. Now you can see when I click the cursor moves only from point to point so snap mode can be used for moving cursor to move at predefined spacing suppose I want to draw a line up to mid of this box so I cannot draw because snap mode is on if I switch it off and now you can see I can click anywhere on the screen but when snap mode is on cursor moves only point to point of grid. Next is dynamic input mode. First I take line click in uh, drawing area and then press escape. Now I activate dynamic input mode and again take line so you will notice command window text is attached to the cursor if i click here then length of the line is highlighted as well as angle is also visible if i type length 40 and then press tab button angle is highlighted so here i type angle 50 and press enter so by using dynamic input mode, you can change the length and angle of the line as well as command line text is also attached to the cursor. Next is ortho mode. First I take line and click anywhere. I can draw lines in at any angle now I activate ortho mode 
now you can only draw horizontal and vertical lines again i deactivate ortho mode by pressing f8 key now you can draw lines at various angles next is object snap so here you will find object snap first i take a line and draw one horizontal line escape now again i have to draw one line starting from the mid point of this line so i take line but i don't know where is the mid point so for that we can use object snap so activate object snap click here now take line and as soon as you go near to the midpoint a green color triangle will appear and it will show midpoint now i click here so line will start from the midpoint of the above line click here similarly i can also draw line from the end point of the line as soon as i come near to the end of the line it shows me end point by a green box so click here so line will start from the end point so we can use number of snap points for this here click on this down arrow click on object snap setting so these are all the object snaps you can make visible or invisible by checking and unchecking here now next is object snap tracking for example i take a line and i have to draw one rectangle i will click your first point second point your third and now i have to draw a line equal to this but i don't know where to stop here so solution to this is by using object snap tracking now i activate this object snap tracking go to the line again we'll repeat this process here now i have to draw line equal to uh, length of this line so i will go to the end point hold here don't click here and then drag the mouse downward you will find a green line appearing there simply click here your line will be up to this point and then click on end point for example you have to draw a perpendicular line let's take one example here and from this point you have to draw a perpendicular line but but it is not showing here snap point is not shown so in that case press and hold shift key and right click of the mouse so all snap points will appear here from here click on perpendicular and drag the mouse near the line as soon as perpendicular symbol is seen click here so your perpendicular line is drawn similarly we'll see one another example click on circle suppose this is one circle and one more now we have to draw one tangent line so click on line but here we cannot see tangent so shift and press and hold shift key right click and click on tangent so here you will find deferred tangent click here again press and hold shift key right click click on tangent here you will see symbol of tangent then click now we will see object selection methods to select object you can simply hover the cursor on the object to be selected and click so once the object is selected it will be highlighted like this press escape 
now one method is window in this method click on the left hand side and drag the mouse on the right hand side and then click if i click the objects within the window are selected another method is crossing method in this method click on the right hand side and drag the mouse towards left so all the objects touching to this crossing window shown in green color and then click so all the objects crossing that uh, window get selected thank you for watching video please like and subscribe